Hello everyone. Welcome to our 7th episode of Careers Infinite. This is Devika and Shruti speaking to you from the Steel City, Hamilton in Ontario and Raleigh in North Carolina. In this busy digital world, it is often easy to Google and find the answer to any question. But nothing, absolutely nothing beats the good old style of meeting people, learning about them to create a professional connection. A job is just a job with numbers, letters and deadlines. But when you learn about the person who does the job, you learn how they make it work. You learn how they pursued it to make it a success and why they are in the position they are today. In addition, you also get to know what they don't like about their job and all the challenges they face on a daily basis doing what they do. This is as important as the positive aspects of a job because they can help you decide better if the job is a good fit for you. Even when it's not about that particular job, if you have a number of options in your head, these interviews can help you narrow down your choices. Now, aren't these reasons enough for you to call someone up for an informational interview? So this is where we are today. Today's episode is going to be focused on informational interviewing. What is its purpose? How do we go about doing this? And finally, a couple of tips to first timers out there who are new to informational interviewing. Shruti, in your own words, how would you define an informational interview? An informational interview is usually a 20 to 30 minute meeting in which an individual interviews an experienced professional with the intention to explore career options and or develop professional relationships. Sometimes this can be more specific, as in to gain specific insights on a company or a role that one might be interested in. So Devika, how do we do this? Is there a sequence of steps to be followed? Well, it just follows the standard etiquette that any professional meeting requires. I would put it in terms of three questions. First, where do you go about finding the right people to interview? Company directories, networking events, and even LinkedIn. These are three powerful resources for you to get connected with people who can provide the right information. Second, how do we approach them? Email and again, LinkedIn. It is always a good idea to first write a message to the person you wish to meet. Third, and most importantly, what should I say? Introduce yourself in your message and talk about how you found out about them. Then, explain why you want to speak to them and your specific asks. Speaking of professional etiquette, Shruti, do you have any pointers for first-timers? Sure. I think the following five tips can help everyone. First, understand the objective of your informational interview. Have a clear idea and maybe even make a short list of what you want to achieve from the conversation. Be honest. If you're looking for a job, you can say that about yourself, but the informational interview session is not the place for you to make a request to be considered for a job in their company. This is the time for gathering information. Next, be appreciative and mindful of the other person's time. Show up on time and if you proposed a meeting for 30 minutes, stick to it. Also, do your research on the person you will be speaking to. Be prepared and have clear, specific questions ready. You don't want to ask them for information that you might have found on their LinkedIn page. Next, it is also important to dress professionally. Remember that first impressions are everything and you want to make yourself unforgettable. Finally, and most importantly, have an elevator pitch ready. More often than not, people start off a conversation with, tell me something about yourself. And the answer to that would basically be your elevator pitch. Although, please make sure that it doesn't last more than a couple of minutes. Great pointers, Shruti. Next week, our episode will be focused on elevator pitches. 
how to give an elevator pitch and Shruti and I will be trial testing on each other. So brace yourself for a fun session. Are you interested in more resources for career development? Check out www.careersinfinite.com for our podcast, Five Steps Ahead and Career Reviews blog. If you like this episode, please rate it and subscribe to Five Steps Ahead in iTunes or your favorite podcast app. We love to hear back from you. Share your questions or comments with us at www.careersinfinite.com. Thank you everyone for listening.